What's up everybody? So right now I'm working on installing this uh, double vanity wall hung uh, sink here. It's one that doesn't have any legs or it's not on the pedestal. What I did, of course this is about 47 inches long and comes out 15 inches uh, in width. I wanted to mount it on some wood as well as have towel everywhere else around it. So I wanted to start it out, have access to plumb everything and figure out what holes I need to drill, where I need the, the um, actual drain to go down and go from there. So I measured out from stud to stud and then in between here, there's support brackets, of course. These are spaced um, every so often. You have to go to the back of your your sink to figure out. This is probably like two inches down. Another one in the middle, two inches up, and so forth. So, the sink here came from homeary.com. It comes with some sliding um, mounts here that are, actually let me go get the the ones that I bought to replace it. Uh, the ones that came with were entirely too small to hold anything in. Um, they didn't tight down at all, even drilling to the minimum depth. The instructions did not come with it, so it's basically you figuring it out, um, how you want it to go, getting everything level. And let me get the, the new updated bolt. So, of course, I threw away the original bolts, um, the sleeve bolts, uh, anchor bolts that come with uh, the kit. I traded them out. I was going to practice, um, I think the, the originals were like 3 eighths, uh, maybe barely 3 inches. And it wasn't enough to actually grab the wood studs that I have in between um, the, the support studs that I have in between the, the actual vertical studs here. So what I did was went to strong boat. Now these are supposedly the, the strongest anchor boats that they have. It's meant for concrete. And they hold up to, I think, each one's about 60 pounds each um, as far as um, mounting pressure, keeping everything from falling. So the only support you have is these three boats here. And this probably weighs about uh, 60 kilos, maybe I'll say probably 80, 90 <clears throat> pounds or so. Um, let's see. Let's see. Go back to behind here. I put two by six studs in between to catch um, the brackets here or the, the anchor bolts. Of course, um, being spaced out, you're not going to hit your proper stud. So instead of going with an extra vertical um, on the inside here I just kept this one going into the stud and here there's two by six behind here and on top of the two by six of course is the the backer board the hardy backer board uh, which towel will go above here so I ended up drilling with three inch screws uh, all-purpose screws you can kind of see the mark here where I filled it in with um, wood filler um it's the i guess not really the wood the plastic wood filler that they have out there just a natural color that could be primed um, you drill a minimum with these anchor bolts two and three fourths so i did that i think i'll end up going to three inches as you put everything on i needed some support so i looked at my uh, rack here it's an extra box that i have something in to help glide everything going forward. That way I'm not sitting here struggling, mounting everything. And you slide the bolts in and they'll go on top here. You kind of like tighten down. Uh, your sink sit and move or wiggle like up and down. So if you tap the front of it, um, as it's all mounted, your 60 inch pound or 60 pounds of pressure for each bolt it shouldn't move at all. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and stain 
and then I'll come back and show you a picture of the sink attached. Just to kind of backtrack, um, I know a lot of the people are probably asking, man, how did he get these in here? Um, of course, just follow the instructions on your anchor set. If it's a half inch, of course, you'll use a half inch bit, drill to the required depth. Uh, you'll stick it in, it shouldn't be loose. Of course, you want your drill bit to go in kind of straight uh, enough where it's not warped. Uh, this bolt here shouldn't be sagging up high or leaning left or right. And you'll use a hammer if you need a rubber mallet to kind of tap it in till it's flush. Make sure you leave enough threads here that you can actually uh, clamp on to whatever you need. Uh, I think mine is probably 5 8 of an inch uh, thickness, uh, maybe a little bit less than that. So I didn't need this much um, thread out. Um, of course, as you start to tighten it down, the thread's gonna come out even more. Um, just, just the nature of anchor bolts, how they attach and apply themselves. So that's it for this one. And I'm gonna stain right now with a Minwax um, Rustic Mahogany. And I'm gonna coat it with some um, 3X polyurethane. I'm gonna probably do maybe three to four coats over the wood after it's finished stain. I'll get the required color that I like. I kind of tested the polyurethane here. Uh, two different types of wood. This is just your typical um, two by here. Uh, one coat, and then this is a darker uh, two coat, which I didn't really rub it off um, in the correct manner as you can tell by the, the, the stain here. And this one is um, common board, which I have up there. I ended up using a two by 10, uh, or excuse me, uh, one by 10. So uh, one inch thickness and it's uh, 10 inches in, in width. This one, I believe was a six foot board. It's probably about $10, $15 um, in between that range, depending on what store you went to or go to. I went to Home Depot. So this is uh, the color that I'm going for here. And it'll put like a, a kind of a gloss to it over after the polyurethane is on. Um, and we'll see if I kind of like it. Of course, if you need to, I can always change this in and out um, of course I wouldn't want to I want to keep it in place so I was looking for something that was thick enough that it wouldn't break with the pressure of the sink as well as that had long-term durability um, I thought about using a 2 by I didn't really like the thickness and I didn't want to cut it down in size so this is the color I'm going for to match with the sink I also sanded everything down um, bevel the edges on the the actual sink here or the wood for the sink so instead of having sharp edges you can kind of tell that they're a little bit rounded and not jagged all the way around okay so let's work on staining it all right so applying the stain um, of course it comes out pretty dark I'm just going to put everything on and then I'll let it sit for like three minutes. I want it to soak into the wood. And I'll wipe it off. I'm, of course, going with the grain on everything. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, being that it's so dark. It'll look better once I wipe it everything down all right i'll come back 
back after I get everything in. All right, so at the point, um, I started wiping the top part here. I'm gonna keep wiping to get rid of this excess. And then you'll see everything kind of lighten up where you can see the wood grain. So far, looking good. I'm gonna keep wiping excess. And it looks very muddy um, as it goes on one coat. Um, as, as you wipe it, it starts to kind of open up where you can see the grain of everything. So just keep wiping and you'll get the excess up. And of course, wiping with the grain. Now, so I got some extra rags. So, so far, I'm happy with the stain. This is just one coat of the mahogany. It looks very rustic, and I love that that old uh, fastened filling. So I'm gonna keep kind of wiping down, uh, finding excess, lighten it up just a little. And so this is the look of it here. Hope there's enough light. I'll probably have to go back here. Definitely Got a few places here that <clears throat> didn't really take the stain too well. This is, of course, the, the fill-in. I'll probably try to leave that area dark and not wipe away. Mainly up top two inches and maybe like an inch and a half at the bottom where you won't really be able to see anything at the bottom. But up top, I'll definitely need to clean this part up. Try to leave some areas dark. Pretty good. Not fully dry yet. It's only been maybe four or five hours. And then I'll put a poly coat over it sometime tomorrow. I want to make sure it's completely dry, especially in the uh, deeper grooves of everything. Not good. All done. Stain and polyurethane came out pretty good. Let's see if I can give you a little bit more detail here. Slight uh, semi gloss. Overall, I'm um, happy with it. Got a little rough around here, of course. You won't be able to see that with the the sink in place. And a few scratch marks from me not sending. Better look at everything installed. So never mind the back of the board and the um, the paint um, on the edges there, that'll get filled in, of course. Semi-gloss, mahogany, and some double sink, wall hung, double sink. And I'll take a look under. So, no 
those are the bolts here. You can see how much the thread comes out. The next one, all the way over. Top view. 